have a love-hate relationship with Scorpios. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I know that I haven't met every Scorpio, so everybody is different. You know, it has a lot to do with how you were raised and your values as a person and how you were brought up and what your mates believe that really kind of determines, you know, more of the good and the bad sides of your sign. But based on my astrologic DNA, <laughs> me and Scorpios just do not mix. But don't come for me because I can really only speak of my own experiences. I have a few great things to say about Scorpios, so I'm. this is not gonna just be like, I hate Scorpios and they suck. Scorpios are amazing in so many different ways. I love that Scorpios keep secrets. They're very secretive people. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what side of the secret you're on. Nine times out of 10, if you are telling a really, really secretive secret conversation or thing, I'm gonna keep your secret. They're not gonna like blast you out and tell all your business. So that's a great thing because they're not messy people. You know, there probably are a lot of Scorpios that are messy, so I ain't speaking for all of them. But Scorpios love hard. They're very emotional creatures. They're water sign as well, so they're very emotional. Um, that could be a great, 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 great thing, especially if they're very passionate about you as a person and you know your relationship with them scorpios are very amazing dominant socializers man these people can they can sell water to a fish i think i see a lot of scorpios being sales people or working in a profession where it's like commission based because they can really get you to kind of like they're manipulative naturally. They're naturally manipulative. And in sales, you kind of have to be a little bit manipulative. They're always going to be on that money trail. Boo. They're going to be looking for a bag. They love to work. They are workaholics. Scorpios are definitely about their money. Um, they know how to sell. They know how to communicate with people and socialize. They're really, really good at that. I also like that the fact that they socialize you can be you can get really really comfortable with a scorpio you can get to a place where you can and you want to tell all your secrets they know how to communicate with you so that you are comfortable with them and you can share things about yourself and just be open and just be free so i love that i have a, a first cousin we're first cousins and she is a scorpio and you know we have some really good conversations whenever we do talk on the phone and it's just great when it's like that but moving on to the flip side of things my biggest 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 issue with scorpios is that they love to be in control honey they have that natural tendency to want to be needed they need to be needed so when you put yourself in a place with them that shows them that that you need them they're gonna control that they're, they're gonna control anybody and anything that will allow them to control they naturally step into like a boss man parent type of person when they feel like they can share something with you that they assume will help you it's like a, a big thing for me like that control, I don't like that. I don't like it at all. You give them the smallest little door of I need you, they're gonna be all over you like a dog. And if you like that kind of thing, I know a lot of cancers really get along well with Scorpios because cancers are like I need and Scorpios are like I need to be needed. So it's kind of like that give and take thing that they got going on. But because I am so independent, I am naturally independent. My sign is really naturally independent. I, that, that control thing is like, no, no, no. Also, Scorpios are very manipulative and they love to play the victim card a lot. They will do something that they know that they shouldn't do and they will manipulate you into thinking that they had a good reason for doing it. If you're not evolved, if you're a Scorpio and you're not evolved, you really got to work on that manipulating um, kind of thing and trying to like make people see you as a victim and empathize with you and that whole excuses, excuses thing. I know that I have, I, I know a lot of Scorpios. They're always the victim. They never do anything wrong and they want to manipulate you and control you into thinking that they have good reason for doing a really, really 
messed up thing. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I am going to be doing so many more of these types of videos because I just love astrology. I just really do believe that astrology and how the the stars and the sun and the planets were aligned when you were born has a lot to do with the type of person you are, the type of people that you associate with, um, the type of career you choose, the type of mate that you choose. You know, of course, a lot of the influence that the influences that you grew up around, whether it be in a bad influence or the way you were raised, has a lot to do with you being the type of person you are as well. But I just feel like when we are equipped to know who we really, really are, we will know, we will have the tools to make ourselves better. And that's what this type of thing is about. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Please leave some comments below. Please like the video. I want you to like the video so that you can just show YouTube that this is what you want to look at. I will see you guys on the next video. And remember, there is no change without challenge. And I will see you guys again soon.